talk, 2021 has produced some really awesome anime and A. Hey, we've got another. Super Crooks. This is a brand new anime TV show on Netflix. It is 13 episodes long. Each episode is about 30 minutes and it is rated R. Story-wise, with of course zero spoilers, in the lead role, his name is Johnny Bolt. And he's a super villain. In fact, he can like control electricity. You see it from episode one, he's actually a kid. And then from episode two, he is an adult and yeah, he's a villain, yo. And in the movie, him and another bunch of other villains, they team up to make the ultimate villain squad and they're going to be doing one last big boy heist. In fact, the best way I can describe Super Crooks, if you've seen Invincible, this is kind of nearly the same thing except you're following the villains. And I gotta be fair, just that like switch makes this show so good. Like, I'm gonna say now, man, the story, I really dug it. I enjoyed every single episode. You guys know I love villains, man. They're my favorite thing in like movies and shows. If things have good villains, I really enjoy it. This is just villain love. Literally, I'd say 90% of the show, you're following villains do their thing. And it's kind of funny, like, seeing superheroes or like the police go after them because you sort of like you understand they're the heroes right they're the good guys but you just don't care because the show is only focusing on the villains so yeah story wise with again zero spoilers i'm not going to go into it i really enjoyed the story i think story made this for me and the cast and the characters which i'm going to talk about now in the lead role you have johnny bolt again he can control electricity there's a bunch of other characters and other villains and the characters their own personal stories their powers i was thinking this could be so generic but there's like some crazy things man one guy he could basically bring you bad luck it sounds kind of rubbish but when you see it on screen it's pretty sick all the characters all the cast all the voice acting is really really good and also i want to give a big shout out man the animation just the visual style it kind of stands out on its own i don't really know a show that goes like this it's a little bit like invincible but it definitely has its own like flair to it actually you know what I'm going to leave that in because, yeah, I keep it real with the channel. But it kind of looks like Invincible, but also kind of doesn't. And definitely has its own style. I can't think of, like, you know, Castlevania, Arcane. It doesn't look like anything like that. But I dug it. It's great. It's colourful. It's clear. You can see everything going on, man. Just this show, it was sick, man. I do want to say, though, this is rated R. There's violence, gore, swearing. There's some, like, sex references. So just keep it in mind. It might look colourful and flashy. It is not for your kids, bro. Also, there's a few fight scenes that are so sick, man. Some of the best anime fight scenes I've seen all year. There's, I don't want to say it, it's in an early episode, a dude's fighting someone and it looks painful, it looks sick, and I loved it. In fact, if I'm being totally honest with you guys, the only thing that I didn't like, and this might just be my personal taste, this thing annoys me a lot. And it's the music, man. There's a lot of music in this and there's a lot of scenes. The music, for me anyway, just does not go with the scene. It doesn't mash well. I just wish they'd toned down the music a little bit. I get that's the vibe of it. I think this is a manga, so I haven't read it, obviously. I don't know anything about this show. I'm going into this show purely knowing nothing. So the music could be like a big deal and I get it. It is a nice style to have on this. But for me, some scenes with this crazy music just didn't work. Again, that's my personal preference. It's kind of... A little bit of a nitpicky thing, I'm just letting you guys know. But overall, yeah, this was dope, man. And I'm going to give Super Crooks 7.5 nerds out of 10. I don't know if anything's confirmed for future seasons, but for me personally, I would definitely, definitely love to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, are you going to see Super Crooks? Let me know down below. I do think if you're a fan of anime, or if you definitely like, again, I'm not comparing it to Invincible. I'm just saying, man, if you like that type of thing, you're going to like it. Definitely, definitely check it out. It stands out on its own. I really appreciate the story going fully with the villains. And yeah, it's pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. See you in a bit. <laughs>